Oh my god, this is just so good. Mmm. Hey Alexa, what's for dinner? I don't know, but I'd suggest something healthy and nutritious. What's a healthy meatball recipe? Okay, for healthy meatball, I recommend a top recipe called Chef John's Italian Meatballs, which takes two hours and 15 minutes to make. You can ask for more information or for more recipes, say next. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided to go ahead and do another Alexa What's For Dinner recipe. Um, I'll link it down below, but I have everything already prepped out. I have my one pound of ground beef, um, and you can do whatever portion you want as far as um, fat. That's the one that I chose. I'm only cooking for the two of us since it is just me, my boyfriend, and my daughter is 16 months old. She doesn't really eat a lot. Um, but yeah, um, but of course, before we start cooking, wash your hands. All right, so in this particular recipe, he does prefer to use one pound of ground pork and one pound of ground beef. I had ground pork, but I'm using it for something else. Um, and again, it's only the two of us. So I just did one pound, which is perfect enough for two people and actually perfect enough for four people. Um, you'll see a little bit later that it actually ended up, uh, it yielded a lot of meatballs. Um, I don't have any fresh garlic or fresh onion. Um, but this works just as well, so I'm using garlic powder, onion powder, and instead of two egg yolks, I only use one. So you, what you want to do is one egg yolk per pound of whatever meat that you're going to use. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and season everything, of course, with salt and pepper. Again, I will link this recipe down below, um, but I'm just going to season everything. And after everything gets seasoned, you want it to actually mix it, but you don't want to over mix and let it sit. In the recipe, it calls for you to let it sit in the refrigerator 30 minutes to an hour. I didn't have that kind of time. I only did it for 15 minutes in the refrigerator. Um, and then, but you wanna do that so that way everything binds together. Right, so these little meat babies will go into the fridge for 15 minutes and during these 15 minutes you can start your sauce or whatever you want to do clean up or as I'm doing now watching my daughter watch Moana So back to the kitchen. So once the 15 minutes are up, you want to go ahead and take everything out. And of course, um, I already have my baking sheet prepped with aluminum foil and you just want to spray it with whatever oil, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever. I'm using canola oil, so I'm just going to spread that. And then I'm going to go ahead and spoon the mixture and you'll see you can do it into like golf size balls. So let's go ahead and roll these little meat puppies up and um, just one pound a little bit later you'll see it makes I believe 12 or 13 meatballs um, so it made a lot so one pound goes a long way. All right, so while you were rolling these meatballs, you should have already preheated your oven to 425, and you're gonna bake these for 15 to 20 minutes. So while this is baking, you can go ahead and start on your pasta, sauce, whatever your sides are, if you haven't started already. You'll see it here, 425, 15 to 20 minutes. Let's see, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my sauce started. 
I didn't do fresh sauce, so I'm just using jar sauce, which is just fine. Um, so I'm just using this tomato, basil, and garlic, and then I'm going to be doing some spaghetti, but I didn't do that much because um, it's just the two of us. All right, so my timer is up for my meatballs. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I left them in for a couple minutes longer than it should, but that's okay. Um, so after you get your meatballs out, um, there were a lot, so I put some of them into the sauce that's we're gonna be using for dinner, and the rest of them I'm actually gonna put in the fridge and make something else with them. I might do some Swedish meatballs with the rest of them later this week. That's how much I had left over, and then we're gonna go ahead and plate it oh my god those meatballs look so good and they were delicious we're gonna go ahead and plate it and i'll show you what it looks like once we plate it i did want to add as well you'll see it in the directions but anytime you put your meatballs in any kind of sauce you don't want to just stick it in there mix it and then serve it i did let it simmer in there at least for half an hour before actually serving it because you want to make sure that the meatballs get all of that sauce and that it really like like it loves the sauce you want your meatballs to love the sauce trust me <laughs> So this is the finished product. This is the baby's obviously. She really does not eat a lot and she's been really fussy lately, but that's her portion, how cute, with her little miniature meatballs. And then this is mine. I only did one meatball and I've added some Parmesan cheese on top. But let me tell you, this smells amazing and you can put whatever garnish you want on top. Um, but I just put some Parmesan cheese and then um, just one meatball just to kind of try it and see how it goes. I haven't made meatballs in like forever. I think I've only made it once in my lifetime. But it looks really, really yummy, and it was delicious and actually really easy to make. Alexa really makes me want to cook. <laughs> I forget about all the good recipes that there are out there. It really was so amazing and so delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more of these Alexa recipes, please give this video a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and share the love. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. This is much better than the last recipe I did. So good.